Well, howdy, 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 nearly senior citizen here. Greetings, boys and girls, and welcome to this. Another, th a third day of a little booga booga boogle on my hand. Yep, I didn't have time to change her yesterday because I kept falling asleep all day, so I didn't get a single video done. And now it's the morning that we're going to be taking off for my appointment, and it is 6, no, 5.54 p.m. It's not even 6 o'clock in the morning on Wednesday, the 16th of 2018. I am mildly irate, not at any, well, I mean at anything, but not at, at any particular person. There you go, little boo. She just, I put her on her house and she jumped off immediately. But since Monday, I've been calling up the appointment place at the Seattle VA saying, is my appointment on Wednesday? Please call me back. I, I need to know because they were supposed to send me paperwork. Never sent me paperwork. They've never called me. I've had the appointment rescheduled. I've been calling them daily saying, hi, you know, my appointment's on Wednesday at this time. Am I supposed to be here? You know, I, I didn't get a chance to confirm. Could you please call me and let me know? Didn't hear from him. Tuesday, yesterday, I called them up, you know, saying, hey, guys, you know, I'm supposed to be there tomorrow. So, <sighs> didn't hear from him. So, I'm hoping I'm supposed to be there by appointment today. I'm going to call them again and say I'm on my way. So, here's hoping. Gosh, golly, gee whiz. I also got something in my eyes. I had this tissue open earlier in it. While down below, it was not on the floor. I'm not gonna, I am semi-fastidious. I've mentioned this before. If it's on the floor, I'm not going to touch it to my face or, or my mouth or especially my eyes, but it was just on a stack of things. So I need to tidy up my, my room again. It's not, I don't let it get awful or, or really, really terrible. It's just, I get cluttered. And so things get cluttered and stacked because I deal with uh, organized chaos. That's, that's what the word is. It's where you've got nothing is in, I mean, everything is in its place, but it's not in its place in that it's like, you know, neatly organized in file folders. It's like you go, oh, that folder right here. And then you go over to one of the stacks on the floor, dig through it, you go, here it is. Because you know where it is. It's just everything as well. A through B is over in this stack and C and F are over here on this shelf over here. And then Z is, it's organized chaos. You know where it is, but it's just if anybody else tried to figure it out, they wouldn't be able to because it's just chaos. But it's organized chaos. An actual organizational method. That's the way I've worked my entire life. I've tried to keep clean desks. Either I have a completely clean desk with nothing on it, in which case, what's the point? Or else it's just clutter and organized chaos with stacks until I clean it and then it turns into stacks again. It happens. It's a good thing. And it is. There's nothing wrong with organized chaos. Some of the most brightest and uh, sharpest thinkers in the world have been organized chaos. And others, of course, have been total put everything in its place. So it all depends. It's all personal. Whatever system works for you, if you have to be organizational and put everything in its place, then be organizational. Put everything in its place. Work what's best for you. Don't take somebody else's system and then smush it onto your life and then just try to cut off the parts of your life that don't fit into the box. No, 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 no. Go out, make yourself your own box so that you fit inside it just perfect. And that's the way to do it. A very good thing. Thumbs up for that. So I don't have a ton to say today because as stated, I fell asleep pretty much all day yesterday. On and off, I'd wake up and then I'd do some things and then I'd fall asleep for a while and then I'd just do things. I never did anything important and I tried to think of games to play and then I actually played some, but I never actually did anything worth recording. And I'm sorry, I really felt bad about that even at the same time that I wasn't able to do anything. Part of it was just, I think it's my mental mind state. In fact, I know it's the, the, the mental landscape there that's keeping me from doing a bunch of that stuff. Because I'm, I'm worried about today. The fact that I've called them and they've not confirmed to me whether or not I'm supposed to be there today. So, I'm hoping it's wonderful. 
Thumbs up for that. So I'm mildly irate about that. Everything else is okay. I kind of wish I had swapped Charvy and Boogle. Charvy's really, really active over in his cage right there. Well, right there, I meant to say right now. But his cage is over against the wall right there, his bin cage. And I can see him through the side. He's running on his wheel and he's really, really active. And Boogle over here is just sleeping inside of her house. So, sorry about that. If I had been smart, well, not smart. If I had been more awake, then I would have had Charvy over here and he'd be running all over and, and being crazy. And he doesn't bite. You know, Boogle will bite till, I mean, they'll all do the, I want to go down thing, because I've told them that if they do that, they go down. But Boogle is the one that if you, she'll do that, and then if it doesn't work, then she'll start digging in afterwards. So all the others will just do the, hey, I want to go down. I want to go down. I, I want to go down sort of movement. But Boogle just goes, hey, it's time to eat flesh. So thumbs up for that. Well, not really. I mean, it's not thumbs up when you get bit. I mean, I've been bitten and had the hamsters dangling from my fingers where they've been biting. So going, ah! And while it's cute, it's still painful. You have teeth in your flesh and it hurts and there's blood. So I was a savage back when I, back in like 1989, 90, in the early 90s when I had a bunch of hamsters back then. I needed hamsters because of what was going on in my life, but back then I was not very nice. My alcoholism was very bad. It was spiraling out of control at that point, and things that were keeping me sane were hamsters. And unfortunately, because of my alcoholism, I wasn't taking the best care of them. It's really sad and unfortunate. One of the things that did happen, and I'm only saying this because I remember it, but it was, if I, back then, and remember, this was like, nine, you know, 1990? So that's 2000, 2010, that's like almost 30 years ago. If I got bit and I was bleeding, I would paint the hamster with my blood so that it was entirely slick and red and then I would put it back into its cage and then it would lick itself off. So I don't know what the point of what I was trying to do, but I remember painting at least two or three of the hamsters that had bit me with my blood. I, I didn't hurt them. I mean, it's all they did was get soaked in blood, but it was just kind of a really weird thing to do. But number one, I can't explain it because drinking and so I don't drink anymore. I don't know what the hell I was thinking. And number two is I was not in a really good mental place. So my head is literally not in the kind of depressed state that it was at that time because it was very bad in a lot of ways. And so I was out of the Air Force a few years and things weren't going well and then I was moved into a house with a couple who were starting to get a very bitter divorce and things were just really going downhill everywhere around me and I was escaping into a lot of things like alcohol and hamsters and I had hamsters for probably a good four or five years at that point before I stopped having hamsters for many many years and then I got hamsters again and I was much better with them at that point Whew. and thank goodness for that also at that point towards the year 2000 is when I started getting some rats as pets and rats are awesome awesome little animals in fact of the two rats that I've had they were just some of the most wonderful little critters in fact one of them was a, a nice little guy and what we would do, and he seemed to like it, which is why, I mean, I wasn't unhappy doing this. Because he would take a nap and I would take a nap, but I would set him on my pillow and then I would gently set my head on top of the rat and then we would just nap on the pillow. And he would nap. He wasn't unhappy. He wasn't dead or anything because we did this many, many times. But it was really cute. He'd sleep and I'd sleep and I'd wake up and he'd still be there and then I'd pick him up and he'd wake up and then we would he'd be a rat and I'd be awake and it was really fun. But then of course he died. But then all rats do and so I really like them. The only thing I don't like about rats is the long tail. 
other than that, they're just awesome, awesome animals. They're smart and incredibly affectionate. So, I mean, not sewer rats. Sewer rats, of course, are, and not, they're not necessarily sewer rats, but outdoor rats, they're not it, really like fun and happy rats. But if you get the rats that you get out of a pet store, they've been bred for captivity. So they're really affectionate and very smart animals. And it's really, really cool. Now, of course, you don't want them to like bite you or anything. So, and they'll accidentally bite, but as long as you're not like bleeding everywhere and they're chewing on your flesh, you're fine. So. They're nice. I just don't like their tails. I mean, mice are cute too, but they're too small and they don't have cheek pouches. They're, the smaller the critter, I mean, it's cute, but then it, when it gets like smaller than a, a dwarf hamster, even dwarf hamsters to me are just a little bit too small. Once you get smaller than a Syrian, it's not cute small anymore. It's just small, small. What can I say? I'm really, really just rambling, talking about nothing of, of particular today because of the fact that I'm going to be leaving very, very early today to make it to my appointment. In fact, it's just after 6 o'clock right now. And I was told we're going to be hitting the road at about 7.45. If we have to make it to Seattle and some, well, I have to be there at 10 o'clock. So that's, you know, a good almost two hours to get there on the road because we're going to be hitting traffic. But, so it's going to be fun. I don't have any money, so I can't contribute to gas. But So it's going to be my two housemates that are paying for gas because they're driving me up there. And then we're going to drive back. So, I mean, I feel kind of bad about that, but up until just like two months ago, we all, everybody just used my parents' gas card. And so I and my parents have been paying for gasoline for all this time, so I don't really feel bad driving to Seattle on their dime, considering how long they've been driving on my parents' dime. So it's, it works out. Thumbs up for that. And of course, if given a choice, be kind because everybody is inside of their own head and you don't know what kind of day they're having. So if you have an opportunity and you can be nice to somebody, you never know. That might help actually make their day. You could tip them from being, ah, my day's bad to, you know, it's not that bad. Someone was nice. Yeah, it's kind of a good day. In that, and it's, it's easy, it's cheap, it doesn't cost anything and the benefits are awesome so if given a choice be kind if given a choice you don't have to go out of your way you don't have to push you don't have to really do anything it's just just given the opportunity of be flippant or mean or be kind just flip the needle to kind it's kind of cool that's all <laughs> thumbs up on that well, 13 minutes and change. I'm not going to try and worry about pushing this to uh, 20 minutes. So I have, even before I did this, opened up 24 hours worth of comments on Chrome. So I'm going to go through and thank 20 to 25 people for, her, for, for Harvener for having left me comments yesterday. I sound so much like, uh, I really, really, really love the Steve Martin movie, Man with Two Brains. And if you ever have the opportunity, please, please watch the movie, The Man with Two Brains. Steve Martin, awesome movie. I love that movie because there's the two characters' names. There's Dr. Hafar. I can't spell it, but of course, when he says his name, Dr. Hafar, this woman who's a disembodied brain at this point knows exactly how his name is spelled. She goes, oh, is it H-F-F-U-F-F-H-U-F-F-R? And he's like, oh my God, yes. And what's your name? And she goes, oh, it's an Mwamehe. And he goes, oh, M-U-M-M-L-M-M-A. And it's like, he knows exactly how an Mwamehe is spelled. And it's like, they're perfect for each other. It's a beautiful and wonderful movie. And it's really, really good. You should see it. It was back when Steve Martin was making really, really good movies that were bizarre and funny and yet wonderful. Dead Men Don't Wear Plaid is another excellent one. But anyway, yes, I've opened up 24 hours worth of comments on Chrome. I'm going to go thank 20 to 25 people. It's a range because even though I count in ASL, I still lose track. 
If I mispronounce your username, no disrespect is intended. I'm an American English speaker. We're really only good at arrogance and mispronouncing things. Well, other things too, like uh, terrorism. But, and I'm not reading the comments right now. I'm going to read the comments afterward, but for right now, I'm just thanking you for having left a comment. Good comment, bad comment, and different comment. Just thank you for having left a comment. So, calling up Chrome again. Here we are. We have Technosource Tray. Thank you very, very much. And Promo, greatly appreciated. Belinda Abanio, I think. Thank you very, very much. Jasmine Walking Dead, greatly appreciated. Tundra Keeper, always appreciated. Yamant Yamant, heck of a name, and thank you. Jordan Mel, greatly appreciated. Ryu, thank you. Thick Yeet, <laughs> I guess. Osama Bin Laden, how about that? Zaith Guzman, greatly appreciated. Matt the Gramer, Gamer, not Gramer, thank you very, very much. Angry Bull Gaming, thank you. My eyes are not focusing, so my apologies. Lord Lobster Juice Gaming, thank you very, very much. Never Lit Zamora, thumbs up and thank you. We have The Killer Hippo, thank you very, very much. Just Videos, thank you. Connor Lavalli, thank you very, very much. Cryptic Shanks, thumbs up and thank you. And Mary Adachi, thank you very, very much. Prod by Day, thank you, greatly appreciated. Talon Wilford, thank you very, very much. Saimir underscore, thank you very, very much. AJ, thank you very, very much. And last but not least, Official Aaron, thank you also very, very much. And in the comments, people have been saying, uh, like the name uh, Stendo and Extendo. I've never heard of uh, Stendo or Extendo. Is this a person or channel or place or I don't know. And did somebody mention my channel? I don't know. The, uh, whatever the situation is, thank you all so very, very much for having left comments and come to see though. It is appreciated no matter what the reason. Anybody that comes along for my journeys of exploration in my vlogs, for my reaction videos in the daytime, for my game videos in the evening time, for my game videos on my game channel, for my live streams, thank you all, each and every one of you, for coming along on this journey of exploration. It is appreciated to no end. Doing this channel, being, doing what I'm doing, talking to people, getting out of my head, saved my life. So thank you all so very, very much. And I continue to get physical letters, <coughs> excuse me, and emails of thanks from people where just watching me has helped save their lives. It is incredible and heartwarming. Thank you each and every one of you who ever writes me and tells me your story. Please write me, let me know. It is amazing. Thank you. My therapist has said that I am doing good things just by doing my channel to show people that even if you get knocked down by life every single day, you can get back up and you can do it. And I'm showing people that it can be done. Thumbs up for that. Thank you all. Thank you all so very much. Because you saved my life and if I'm helping to save yours, awesome a very good thing oh it's 18 minutes and 34 seconds so if you could check out my links i got twitter facebook gofundme patreon.com google plus if you could donate to my gofundme campaign or become a patreon.com patron like one of these beautiful and awesome people that would be beautiful and awesome thank you so very much but if you cannot donate or you simply do not donate i do take all good wishes i deposit them in the bank of my heart where i draw interest so thank you very much if you could toss me a like i do appreciate all the positive validation i get for my existence and if you could subscribe to the channel that would be cool i would understand if you don't want to but if you are down with it i will do my best to keep you entertained from now until the literal little day i die so thumbs up for that Ah, oh, shucks, at 19 minutes and four, 15 seconds, 20 seconds now, uh, I got a wish list if you want to check that out. I'm partnered with Humble Bundle. They are a paid thing. Well, I mean, eventually I'll get paid. I haven't been paid yet, but I'm supposed to be a paid partner. So if you want to check them out, that'd be cool. <coughs> Excuse me again. Well, I doubt I'm going to have anything else. It depends on when I get back from my appointment. So I might have another video. I might not. My appointment's two hours, starts at 10 o'clock. I could be back by four. So you take care. Have a great day today. 
I will see you on the flip side. And that, my friend, is a very good thing. So take care and I will see you when I can.